Today I'm going to show you how to do short division. Short division is not really any different in process than long division. We're basically going to just be skipping certain steps in writing them down. I'm going to demonstrate really quickly how to do short division, then I'm going to compare it to long division so you can see how similar they really are. In short division, you do the same type of thing. We have the number 632 divided by 4. You think 4 goes into 6. How many times? It goes in there once. It goes in there once with a remainder of 2. We're going to put that remainder here in front of the next digit in the number. So now the next step is 4 goes into 23. 4 goes into 23 five times with a remainder of 3. So we're going to put that remainder here in front of the next digit. Now we have 4 goes into 32. How many times? It goes into there 8 times evenly. Now had we done this long division, it would have gone like this. 4 goes into 6 once. Then you do 1 times 4. You write it down here. You subtract. You bring the 3 down. And now you have 4 goes into 23, which is what we had over here. 4 goes into 23. 4 goes into 23 five times. 5 times 4 is 20, and you subtract, and you bring the next digit down. And here we have 4 goes into 32. Over here we have the same thing, 4 goes into 32. Again, we write the answer at the top. Generally, I, kids are told 4 times 8 is 32. You put it down here, and you kind of verify that there is no more remainder. So that's the easy way of doing short division. For children who may mess up these intermediate steps, they may not want to skip this type of, th type of thing, but doing a short division, it's easy to do it in your head. Uh, you can, again, see things pretty easily. You have 4 into 23, 4 into 32. Here, sometimes your numbers can kind of get mixed up, so you're trying to figure out, well, what did we go into here? This keeps things nice and organized. You can even do short division with longer numbers. You have, for example, 97,104. We're going to divide that by 12. Same process as the last way with the shorter digits, the shorter numbers. 12 goes into 96, 97, excuse me, 8 times. 8 times 12 is 96. If we didn't know that in our head, we would just over here on the side, we would write it down, write down your answer over here, and you'd have that for reference later in case we have another problem, another step in the problem that requires 12 times 8. 12 times 8 is 96, with one left over. So we're going to put that remainder over here. If 12 goes into 11, no, it doesn't. So we just could write a 0 here. There's still that 11 left over, so that's our remainder. We're moving it over. 12 goes into 110 nine times. 9 times 12 is 108, so that means there's a remainder of 2. 12 goes into 24 twice. And of course, if you had a number that it didn't go into evenly at the very end, you could write your remainder like you normally would with a long division problem. The only real drawback of this method is when you have really big, a really big divisor, and so your remainders are going to be three digits. You just need to make sure when you write down your problem, you might want to write it something more like this, where it's spaced out and you have a little bit more room. Because then if you have a remainder of 200, you know, 23, or 121, you're going to be able to have room to, to have it in there. But it takes up less room on the board. It's really easy to see where your problems might have been because now you can look here. You know, 12 goes into 110 nine times. 12 goes into 11 none. You know, 12 goes into nine. It's easy really to, to judge where your problems are. Short division is also very good for mental math. It's easy to just do this same process mentally and come up with your numbers one at a time. You're not going to have to think that you have to go through this whole long division process or anything like that. So it's, it's quite handy when it comes to uh, mental division. And there you have it. That's my method of short division.